Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We have got a very large dome here being built, the Oval Dome. And when we've got that one built, well, we've also got some materials that need to be brought in for here. We're, we're, we're short on polymers at the moment. Polymers do seem to be a bit of an issue for us. We've got 102 altogether. Uh, so there are some around, it's just taking a little while to get them over to the dome over there. So really we could do is ramping up our polymer production a little bit. In order to do that, we could really do some more water being brought in as well as uh, dealing with some, um, getting some more metal. Metal is getting to be a bit of an issue, but we're currently researching, or we're going to be researching very soon, some new tech in order to deal with that. Uh, then, of course, we have a Mega Dome. We've just unlocked the Mega Dome, um, but I thought that it had, like, seven spires inside. Apparently, it doesn't. It's just one spire. The so odd I'm... composition of the debris collected from the anomaly site has proven to be an uncrackable riddle for our science team. The experts all agree that materials discovered at the anomaly site could not originate on Mars, but they are also in agreement that they are not the remains of a meteorite or containment introduced from our rockets. A contaminant introduced from our rockets. For now, it looks like the origin of debris will m remain a mystery. As wise men throughout history once said, the more we know, the more we realize we don't know. Effect, a genius applicant is available on Earth. Nothing like a good puzzle. Okay, so there was one that was, it was an anomaly that was being researched by our RC Explorer. And it was over there, and so he's, he's, he's done that one. We'll go over to here, and we'll start him on the next one. Uh, we could do with getting, like I said, we want some more water being unlocked, so we can deal with that. We want this one here being built, and then we're going to try building a mega dome somewhere as well. I'm going to have this one producing some food. At the moment, we've got 282 food on our planet, so we could do with a little bit more. I've got a whole load of extra windmills down here, so... Um, Power Sector production scan. at the moment is doing well. Uh, total demand is about 600. Power production, 950. So we're doing well on that. I've expanded drone hubs out as far as here. I would like to expand drone hubs out yet further still. I've got metals here. Now, I was actually thinking that we could build a mega dome. Not a medium dome, no. Uh, a mega dome. But it's not going to be big enough to reach the two metals there. Um... Now we've got more water over there that we could perhaps explore and uncover. There's metal there. I could put a mega dome down here and uncover two metal deposits. But I'm not, I don't think I really need to worry about the metal deposits. This is the water that I want. I want to get this water down here. Now there's blocking objects here at the moment. Um, it overlaps deposits. Uh, which makes life a little bit more awkward for us. So maybe we could put a smaller dome in there and a big dome out here or something. I'm not quite sure. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we kind of need to work around here as well. I got a lot, of, a lot of like items, blocking objects there. If I could do that, see what well, the thing is with water is I don't need to get all that close to it because I don't actually need people to take the water out. I do need people to take out some of these materials over here, which I could do. I could easily do that. I could um, do that and I could build a, a, a dome there. But I'm not going to worry about it just for a second because I'm still waiting for this dome here to be built. And then after that one has been built, we can start working on some of the other stuff. But I was considering getting a bit more water extraction going on over here, and then getting that back over here, and having another polymer production area here close to that dome. If you look here, the actual polymer factory itself does need people. This dome here has got 15 unemployed people and 5 homeless people. So I can actually uh, start this work shift going here. There we go. All of these are in the wrong workplace. What is the workplace for this one? Oh, engineers. I have no engineers. That's just great. I got a unit. Oh, the university's over here, isn't it? Right, I got a university in there, which is not that building. Not that building either. I don't have a university in this building. Yes, I do. It's that one. There. Martian University. I've got shifts, so I can go here. Needed specializations, botanists, engineers. I think it does it automatically. Ah, ideal, right. Um, if it does it automatically, this dome here has got... Oh, it's got three unemployed people. Excellent, we have unemployed people. That means I can start another shift on here. Uh, if I do that, start two shifts on there. This one here is... 
that one's working that's fine they're, they're busy extracting metals from there and then this one here is busy extracting metals as well anomaly um, analyzed oh we gained some more research and we I'm, I'm gonna speed it up in a second i'll speed the whole simulation time up in just a minute project mohole extract metals rare metals and waste rock without the need of a deposit while heating the surrounding area um releasing heat as potential terraforming effort and as a bonus mining ore so yeah it's that one there that i want and then large scale excavation marshing concrete made from equal parts regolith and sulfur some vast improvements concrete directly from martian soil without requiring a deposit so we got both of these two the next ones that i want to get out um which is going to make life a lot easier instant and free power cable construction power cables do not suffer from faults that one I definitely want. Uh, nocturnal adaptation, I want to put that one in as well. So we've got some expensive ones up here, and then we can add in some cheaper ones. Research at the moment, we've got 4.9 billion available there. I'm going to outsource a bit more. I'm going to outsource 10,000 there. And that should speed this up a little bit as well, I'm hoping, he says. Right, so we've got that. Let's go right up to some fast speed, and then we can hopefully fill this up fairly soon. Um, and then when that one's finished, yeah, it's, it's down here that I want to do. I wanted to get the water going here. I've got some these. Oh, no, that's an RC rover. I don't need to worry, need to worry about him at the moment. i move him over there. Let me go to the, not the explorer, uh, not the rover, the transport. Go to him. He's already taken some metal there. I got the very last item here is being scanned. Now, metals. If I go there, it's looking around for them. I've got 70 metals there. 75 down here. Let me go down to this area and we'll see. I think the 75 are down there. They're on. Most of them are on that area there. There's a few more and a few more. Okay, so I'll take this one and I will take that. And I will go load resource right there and I'll take everything that can load around there. And then we've got to go all the way back up over here. And just so long as it's within range. Oop. Make sure come in there. As long as it's within range over here, we can unload the resources right there. Perfect. Right, he'll go and do that. It's going to add a little bit more metal into the system. We should be able to remove the malfunctioning cable faults fairly soon. That's going to be absolutely fabulous and fantastic. I'm going to start um, construction on another tunnel. I want a tunnel right there. Too far from working drone commander. The tunnel is going to go here like this. Uh, we've got uneven terrain there. Um, we could actually do with it sort of... Oh, that's too far from the drone commander. I guess we want to put it there. I, I don't want it that direction. Ideally, I'd kind of like it... I guess it doesn't matter. We just have to put it like that. So, yeah, if I put it like that there, I think... It's then able to come up through the other end. And then this one all the way down here... Uh, well, really, I'll put it all... I'm going to put it all too far. There, that's as far as I'm allowed to go with that tunnel, so I'm going to put the other end over there. But that's too far from a drone commander at this end, which means I've also got to build some new drone hubs. Now, we've got these over here, so I go to the edge of where their limit is. Sector and scanned. if I press shift Milestone when I drop it down... Achieved. Ooh! Can't stop the signal, the final frontier. We've uh, we basically, we've uncovered everything. Resources are low. And we're low on food. I've still got to work on the whole food situation. The food situation is not great. Uneven terrain's in there. Uh, don't think I'll drop in another one. I'll put that one there, though. Put him in there. And I'll move that one there, I think. And then one out there. And then I'll also put one there. And I'm going to put one... As long as I sort of get them within the the range of it, these will eventually all fill out. And I don't want to drop one in there because that's going to sort of interfere with things. I think I can put one there like that. And then I can put another one over there. So there's a few of them. And then I want to go into here, and I want to go to, not the dumping site, I want to go Universal Depot. And we're going to drop there, and there, and then one up there, one over next to that one. Keep going. 
want to have universal depots next to or close to each of these so Wait that ooh. we have a massive object converging with Mars on a collision course. Our readers confirm that it's a dredger, but it's size. There is no mistake, unfortunately. If we leave this massive dredger unchecked, it could have a disastrous impact on our metal supply. On the other hand, our tactical advisor supposes that the arrival of this new dredger may be caused by the threat our actions prove for the aliens' mining operations. At the end, the decision as to how we address the new situation was obvious. Just when we thought we'd survived the worst effect, a huge dredger will land on Mars in five souls. You can dismantle the incoming dredger using drones. Right. So we've got a huge new dredger turning up. We've got to be able to actually dismantle it using drones. Um, I wonder if that means that we're going to get a whole load of metals and stuff. That would be pretty cool. I think that would actually be pretty good. Where's it going to be? Seriously? Oh, right there. We've got some drones there. I'm going to build another drone hub right close by so that we've got spares. So let me go into there and drop down a drone hub as well. There we go. See, they're already putting stuff onto it. And then I'm also down here. I'm going to build another shuttle hub because I feel that's probably going to be quite handy. Um, so we'll drop one of them there. And I'm going to drop another shuttle hub over here somewhere. They are a little bit more pricey to build, but they're not too bad. Resources so yeah, I can... Low. No cable connection. Drop that one there. Has died. Uh oh. Oxygen. Oh, a suicide. Uh. That's bad. Low sanity. Yeah, we really don't. Oh, it's because we're waiting on this one. I need to pri I need to have a high priority on that one. Um, if we've got, if the building is Research malfunctioned, they complete. can't do anything. If I look at this one here, average comfort sixty one, average morale. Average sanity is not too bad, uh, but I do have 11, un uh, 11 homeless people here. The homeless is not so good. Having homeless people is, is a bit poorer. Uh, scanned all sectors, milestone achieved. 500, 1000, construct a megadome and construct a wonder. The last few things really that we need to worry about. Uh, large scale excavation is done. We're now starting work on Project Mohole which means it's going to be a lot easier for getting all of the resources that we could possibly need. Uh, we've got a uh, whole polarization buildings require maintenance less often. This one, Research Lab and Hawking Institute upgrade. I'm going to go for that one right there first. And we'll worry about some of the others a little bit later. Uh, still got six buildings, but yeah, we're, we're, we're slowly getting there. It's going to take a while to get there. It's because this one's taking a little bit of time to get there. Uh, when this one is finished, then things is going to start looking up a bit, I think. Uh, how should I do this? I want to. I actually want more oxygen. We're going to go for. We're going to go for some extra oxygen and oxygen production. So I want uh, moxies there. Base production two. So oxygen there. Production twelve. Demand eleven point seven. Which means we're actually pretty close to um, full oxygen use now. I'm going to do that one round there, and I'm going to put a few of these moxies in here. Um, so I should press shift while I'm placing them. So I want one there, like that. And then I want another one there, like that. And that one's got blocking objects, so I'll put one over here. And I'm going to put some up on this side as well. I can put one there. I can put one there. And I can put one there. So there's a, there's several oxygen production uh, things there, which should help all of these. I got less um, redundancy in the oxygen supply lines at the moment, which is potentially going to be a bit of a problem for me, I think. I've also... Um, metals is another one that I need to worry about up there. I've got this guy down resources here are low. who's bringing in some more resources. He's got 23 left on board. It's going to dump them out there. The drones will come racing in. Ah, problem solved. Right. Uh, low on food. 222 food. Food's not... Actually, food's, food's all right at the moment. Seven metal there. They'll gather that in a minute, I think. So, I got hit, uh, yeah, we've got a load of these drones and shuttles and stuff running around. A colonist has died. Another one. Uh-oh. They're all dying over here in this one. I need, I desperately need them to bring the polymers over to this one. 
If they could just bring some polymers into that one right there, that medical center, that would be really, really useful. I need three polymers. I've got more... i got polymers being produced over here. Right there is my polymer production. 13.7. I've got... They're all working hard shifts on here. 15.5 per shift for polymers they're bringing in there. But this is bad. Two two of them dying is, re is actually really... That's, I really don't want that. Um, overall, for people, we've got fi 53 unemployed people and 36 ho homeless people. Unemployed and looking for... Good gravy. Um... Right, this is this is actually really bad that we got so many homeless people. I I really do need to boost production pretty quick. With the polymers, they're all in there. A colonist has died. Another one. Stop, please. Yeah, they're all in it. It's because I don't have that one. That one's not working. If you could just bring the polymers over here, I'd really appreciate it. Right, I've got we got some serious issues here. Uh, we've got one unemployed person on that colony there. This one over here has got 15 unemployed people. I've got a polymer factory there that turns fuel. Hang on, how much fuel have I got? That's, this this might be the clue. Uh, fuel there. I, we've got loads of fuel. Right, fuel is not a problem. So if I come into here and I build another polymer extraction, polymer thing, polymer factory right there, 18 people. I'll put that one in there and I'll drop that... Just like that there. That should be everything I need to be uh, able to build that have one. A food shortage. And then I can get a load of people in there. Um, food is also going to... Oh, construction pro... Oh, polymer factory is built already. Let me slow things down just a little bit. Just until I've got made sure that i got everything sorted. I'm going to put full shifts on these. And they're also going to go overtime on that as well. So I've got 10 per shift on there this one here is waiting for metal so they're not able to do anything at the moment that one right there is full this one in here yeah these in here we don't have to worry about them too much and then this polymer factory out here this one is now that's going to be whacking out a bit more polymer okay so polymer is good we're, we're good for polymer and we have got that one back up and running at long last right that's good that means that the sanity issues that we've got here in this dome, hopefully, see, average sanity, if average is 63, it's going to be people who are uh, a bit lower down on the scale, which is really, really bad. We really don't want that. You, right here, luxury shopping, insufficient polymers. Yeah, so every if we need lots of polymers. We need people here with polymers. We've got 56.7, yeah, 55 potatoes coming in there. Soil quality decreased 10%. Growth time... That's almost ready to harvest. We've got a load of food coming in there. We've got a load of food coming from that one. We've got a load more food coming from there. Overall food at the moment is 161. So it shouldn't be too bad. We're getting there. We are slowly, slowly getting there. We've got the polymers situation there is sorted. Metals, like I said, is slowly is getting there as well. Um, so what we're waiting on is this. If we can get Project Mohole going, then ideal. That's, that's going to change the situation completely. Right. Sulfurous rich regolith from concrete deposits and produces concrete. All extractors contaminate nearby buildings with dust. Now, I did increase. We, we just had... We've got the fuel refinery. No, it's none of those. What's that? Wonders. Oh, I have a wonder. The excavator. Using advanced extraction technology allows for production of concrete directly from the soil. That takes 240 metal, 200 machine parts, and 80 concrete to build the excavator. We're not going to build that one yet. We're going to worry about this dome up here first. Uh, this one here needs power, I think. Doesn't it? Do you need power? Power 10 stored fuel. I think it does, actually. I think I'm supposed to take a, a power line over to that one. I've got hubs now being built. This one... Oh, hang on. Is that... Oh, no. That dome is... Yeah, that's, that's needing polymers as well. Everything needs polymers! Go into power right there, and I'll take power cables, and I will run from there over this way, like this. And we'll go straight over... To, nope. I want to go to there. Oh. It's not letting me do it. Okay. 
Uh, let me go back here and salvage that. And I see where it's gone. It's, um, I think I need to go from that point there. Shortage. Yes, I'm aware that we have a food shortage. There's not a lot that I can do about it until I've got something else built. Right, if I go up there, and then the power can be brought into that one, and we can put power into that one as well, which will then in turn run power all the way down to this tunnel down here. These will eventually build out, along with several of these others. Now, we should have... Oh, it's already here. That one right there. Destroy it. The Dreadnought. Come on in. Destroy the Dreadnought. Let's just watch this one. This is going to be a bit more interesting and worrying about starving colonists. Yeah, we, we can deal with starving colonists. 218 food. We, we're all right for the, as far as the starving is concerned. But look at this thing. It's a beast. This thing is savage. Look at it. That is an absolute monster. Look at that thing. That is that is very cool. We want to see we want to see the explosion. I mean I'd like the the light to come back. It was it was beautiful and light just now and now suddenly it's all gone dark when I first see this one. There we go. That is that is a very cool looking dredger. I like the look of this thing. I really do. I, I love the way that it's all sort of put together. I wonder if we're going to find anything like really, really interesting from this thing when it um, finally pops. I suspect we might. I suspect we're going to find all kinds of weird and wonderful data from this. We may even find out who these aliens are. If we can find out who the aliens are and what they want, that may assist us. With, I mean, maybe we can communicate with them. Maybe there are actually aliens that we can talk to if we do this. I wish I'd hurry up. Like, right, we're, we're going as fast as we possibly can. It's going to take an entire soul to overheat this thing and blow it up with a kaboom. And also, is the kaboom going to leave a crater? I don't want to leave a crater here. That's, that's not going to be very good. Uh, it's a very... I, th I feel that it is a very valid point. Uh, is the kaboom going to make a crater? Recent. We all Boom. watched as the dredger collapsed oh, oh. into a blazing inferno. A spectacular end. While some at Mission Control cheered, Others simply stared, their concerns unvoiced. The comm feed from the dying dredger report a singular message broadcast towards the Coronis Cluster. Retreat, retreat. Others may wonder, but you know deep inside that you beheaded the beast. The other dredgers won't be coming back. Somehow you don't feel like the victor. You stand silent as you ask yourself one question. Have you defeated a dangerous enemy? E enemy? Enemy or rebuffed a potential ally. Effect Zeno Extraction Technology is available for research with a 100% boost. Effect gained a new technology, Project Mohole. Only time will tell. Okay, does that mean that we've just uncovered the Project Mohole thing? Hang on, let me go uh, into uh, research right here. We have. We've done Project Mohole. That has now been completed. Did I not even need to finish that one? Uh, what's this? Xeno Extraction. Where's Project Mohole? Project Mohole is large scale. Oh, there. I think I would have completed that one anyway if you know, with the alien thing. Oh, well, we didn't know that. Uh, water Extraction. Uh, water Extractor, Concrete Extractor, Metals Extractor, and Rare Metals Extractor gain plus 50% bonus production. Let's add that one in as well. I could do with something that stops the people from going insane while they work for me. We'll worry about that later. There we go. And right here we've got electronics. we got like 50 of them. And then this little stack over here, this is rare metals. That's not bad. Rare metals and electronics. We've got all of this area. Of, I want to take our little rope. Where's our, where's our rover? Where's, where's the bad boy rover? There he is. No, not that one. RC Explorer. Waiting for repairs. Oh. Uh, oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, right there. Uh, I need you, the rover, yeah, I've got both the rovers over there, so if I zoom back in over this way, I'll bring him over here, and then he can repair that one, and then we can move on and we can, um, like, scan some more. Resources uh, are low. We're still low on food. If I come down here and I will unpin you, and you are going to be unpinned as well. I got a lot of these, I got a lot of homeless people. I got homeless people in every single dome now, and this is starting to become a bit of a problem. 
142.8 metals in this dome, so we're almost ready to begin construction on everything inside this dome, which is going to be absolutely brilliant. I'm going to put food production in here. This is going to be our food production area. This is what we want. And then if I do anything extra, it'll be some more polymers. I'm getting all of the repair work done now. Things seem to have settled down. We haven't got all the suicides happening. Things are settling down very, very nicely. Right, storage space is full on that one. Storage space is full. Why is storage space full? The, well, why aren't they moving it? More to the point. And you... Again, storage is... Oh, they've got concrete over there, but concrete's not being moved. Um... Should I build another one? No, I won't. I'll leave it because if we got the if it's full, then they've at least got what they need, so that they should be happy. So let's come whizzing back over. We've got another shuttle hub here. This one is now up and running. Insufficient fuel at the moment, but I can soon um, whack up some more food. I've got another shuttle hub there that is about to be built. We've got one over here. Uh, that one over there is in the process of being built. You can come off of the bar. It should be that one. And then these out here are now starting to come into range. That one, oh no, he's not going to quite reach that one. They are overlapping enough that they will be in range in a minute. You are now up and running. Excellent. And then they're moving out to these over here. So that one's going to be, that's, that one's building right now, which is good. So we've got three of these being built. And then very soon we'll be reaching as far over to here. And that means we'll be able to get those, um, the drone hubs up and running as well and this one here is almost done we've just got five metal left to go oh we're done right okay so we've got the oval dome now which means well that they're, they're building resources it resources are low once we've done the oval dome how are we doing for food 230 food right food is okay we're going to put more food in here i'm also going to be building some housing in here as well not life support. Uh, we're going to go for dome we homes. We have an oxygen shortage. Oh. We have a water shortage. Oh, that's all right. That's we all right. We have a power shortage. I had a major panic for a minute, but it's okay. It's all okay. We've got to bring it just over to there. This, the, oh, this very, very short distance. It's fine. It's fine. No worries. We can take it from there onto there like that. And I'm also going to take it from there onto there like that. Okay. So this is all fine. Nobody needs to panic. And we can go onto there. We can go to a pipe like that. And then I drop a pipe from there onto there like that. And I'll also... Where else can I run a pipe from? Um, I'll take one from here. If I go out like that, there, onto the dome like that, that's going to make sure that I get everything in. These over here, they're slowly being built. They are getting there, which means that the total production... It's 20, total demand 14 points. Right, that's okay for there as well. Inside here, inside this brand new dome over here, we're going to want the spires first. If I go to the dome spires, we've got the medical center. Sanatorium's not ready. Neither is the network node. Uh, research and Martian network to unlock this build. I can't remember what that one was for. Uh, but no, I want arcology. I want living space right there. And I also want the medical center over on that side. And then I want some... Places for people to live, I'm not quite so concerned in this one about places for people to live being mega comfortable. I could go for there. Smart home. Smart complex. I want I want better housing, really. But no, we'll go for some apartments. I'm going to put an apartment there. And I'm going to put one there as well. And then I'm going to go for just these living quarters over here. Like that. And I'm going to do living quarters around a couple of these. I'm going to rotate these living quarters so they're all facing inwards. And oh, there we go. Like that. So you right there, Mr. Living Quarters there. If I get rid of you, and then I can build you again. Like that. So they're all rotating and they're all facing inwards around the main spire. Including the two lots of apartments over there. And then the rest of it in here, I'm going to build uh, some nurseries. We're going to build three lots of nurseries. I'll build one there. And another one there like that. And then finally, I'm going to build another nursery over here. I want it to go that way like that. There we go. And I'll build a park. 
So we've got some dome, not dome services, dome recreation over there. Small fountain is going to go right there in the middle. Up here on the top side, if I do a school maybe? I don't know. Education and research. Uh, school right there. I think it might be a good idea to do a school. I mean, I do have a Martian University in the other one. I, maybe I should go to a university on this one as well. And university is quite a big thing. I Do they use... Edu no, I don't think they use education in the other one. So if I put a university there... And then I also put a school in. This one. So school is quite big. There, I'll put the school in like that. And... Over here on this side, we're going to start building some farms. This is all the dome, not the dome. Oh, I need services as well, don't I? I mustn't forget about the services. So I got a grocer in there, so they got some buying and selling. I'm going to put a diner in there for some buying and happiness and stuff, an electronics store. And I'll also put an art workshop, which is luxury and shopping. Hopefully that'll keep them happy. Uh, so I go into there. I got a lot of people here. I have got a huge number of people. I uh, don't know about a security station. No, I don't think I will. And I've got the I got that big dome there. So then, if I go to uh, home education, I could do a research lab. I'm not going to though. I'm going to go back over to life support. I'm going to go for a hydroponic farm. I'll put one there, and I'll put one there like that. And then I'm going to go and get some recreation area. Actually, it's got to be a small garden, hasn't it? we put that one in there. And we can come out here, and I've got three more areas over here, so I'll put two farms building. Where are they? Uh, life support. We Farm. have a food shortage. I'm going to build three farms in here. There. Another one over there. Like that. So I've got a load of farms, and I've got all the other stuff as well. I've got plenty of housing for people. So we should get a lot of colonists moving into this dome pretty good. 28 people have already moved in here. Uh, we've got 144 houses in here. We've got 16 unemployed people. I'm going to start building some... Fungal farms are the only ones that I can build outside at the moment. So I'm going to build a line of these. And I can put them straight sideways or I can do them like that. So I'm going to go... Uh, well, if I put the cable... I'm not going to put the cable at the top. I'm going to do it that way like that, I think. So if I go there, and I can put a line of them. There we go. If, if I do it like this, that last one is going to have to move up. Oh, I can move a couple of them up like that. There we go. So I've got a, li I got a line of five of them out here. That's also going to help the situation a little bit. We are then going to get some power. If I go to the power cables, and I run that one there. I can, ju I can literally just run it along here in a straight line, and that will go along all the front of those, which is perfect. That's just what you want. And then I can go from there up to there like that. I don't have any redundancy on those lines, so it might be a good idea if I build a bit of redundancy on there somewhere. If I come in maybe out... If I go into there and on that side, and then I go over here like this, there's a, s a small measure of redundancy on there as well. Because then I can also go back through and I go to the life support and I go to the pipe work on there. And I take that one up and I'll run that along this exact same line along here. Like that. Uh, go to there. Like that. Okay. That should be close enough. And then I've got somewhere that I can build all of these farms. They can all have somebody on them. So I've got a lack of concrete and stuff in there, but all of the buildings in here are now starting to go up. We've got uh, like the electronics store, and I've got the grocer in there, which will probably have extra people uh, working on fairly soon. Um, is all of these in here? Is, is Oh, actually, oh, all the farms. The farms have all got extra people on here, so let me go and select some extra crop. Oh, now we've got a whole load of giant potatoes there. That That's, that's good. All right, we'll take giant potatoes, and then I'll go for giant corn. Um, soil quality decrease 10%. That one there. Uh, soil quality decrease 10%. And then this one right here is... Um, 
Have we got one that increases the quality of the soil? Cover crop. Soil quality increased 40%. Soil quality increased by 10%. Uh, I see. Right. So you got these different crops. Some of them don't do anything. Some of them increase. So if I go giant wheat there, instead of the one that we got, uh, that doesn't do anything. And then giant potatoes that, it, that decreases the quality by 10%. So I need something that increases the soil quality. Which would be this one. Are low. low yield and grows slowly but improves the soil. So then I go for that one on there. Uh, giant potatoes, I'll take giant corn instead because that's actually 110. Uh, great yield grows slowly, depletes the soil. That one, good yield, grows slowly. So that's five souls and that one is also five souls. So I'll take that one there as 110 optimum. This one doesn't do anything. That one's 110 and then soybeans re uh, increase the soil quality uh, back to regular and so we should get it, it should be a good even spread all the way around on the farms so I'll do that on all of them we'll go for actually I'm going to change it round slightly I'll go on there on the new crop we'll go for the giant wheat on there this one we'll go for giant corn and then this one right here is going to be the soybeans like that um, and then up here we're going to go for giant potatoes and then soybeans and then giant wheat not giant potatoes giant corn giant corn it's the one we want because that gives the, like the best yield and then it's got to be soybeans after that and and then everybody's happy right so there's some food coming in there i'll go back over to this spire over here this dome over here i've got two farms working in here and this one we're going to change the amount of food that we're getting i've actually got the same thing going on here but i'm just going to change that from wheat to giant wheat and then i'm going to change over here giant corn water three oxygen production point three potatoes slightly less water that's the only difference but there's a lot less food so giant corn there we go and then soybeans soybeans are perfect uh ooh, i only done one farm there i'll do the other farm as well so we go giant wheat and this one is going to be giant corn and soybeans are going to stay the same Okay, everybody's happy. We're all looking good. This is nearly finished being constructed. Let me go into the research a minute. And localized terraforming is doing well. Uh, no, it was the, the next one that I wanted. We got the wonders right here. I got the Mohole Mine. Mining deep into the crust uh, produces metals, rare metals, and waste rock while heating the surrounding area, which would be good for when you get the cold spells, except we haven't experienced that. Using advanced extraction, that produces concrete directly. This one does... Um, metals, rare metals, and waste rock, which they can turn into concrete. So we're going for the molehole mine right here. That would be the area there that it uses. Uh, no cable connection. Heats the surrounding area, which is it's the domes that I think you want to actually heat, isn't it? I think that does make a difference. If I go like that, but it's underneath a blocking construction. Uh, no cable connection. I should put that one there. Alright, should we drop this one just here? Let's try it. Let's dump that one right there. And I'll worry about the cable connection in a bit. We've got to get 320 concrete plus 300 spare parts onto that one yet, which is going to take a while. Uh, we've got the entrance here to the tunnel. I'm going to need a, cable, uh, a pipe down through here. I've got pipes over there. I'm going to run pipes out from that one. So I'll go into life support and then I'll go over to the pipes. Uh, we'll take... Just bring in here. I want to make sure that I'm into the main network, which is there. That's the main network. Can't go through that lot. Can't go through that lot either. I can come out as far as there. And I can go to there. Why is it saying not connected? I'm sure why it's not connected. And I don't know. Oh, uneven terrain there. Let's bring that down in a straight line that way to there, and then it can go to there. Oh, I see, connected to building. Right. Perfect. So we got one running in there. I'm also going to build another one coming along here to give us a little bit of redundancy, just in case something nasty happens. So we'll bring from there, and we'll go in a straight line all the way down to that point there. Perfect. There. Some minor redundancies added in. Now we've got everything that comes through that side. 
And then if I scroll all the way down here, I'm still waiting on resources. The colonists are on the brink of dehydration. We need to figure out something quick before they die. Water is a vital fluid which sustains all life. The human body requires a constant access to fresh drinkable water and it quickly deteriorates when none is present. Thus, the extraction of water is one of our utmost priorities. Colonists with dehydration status effect have no access to water and will die within a short time. Connect a dome to operational water producers or filled water towers to supply them with water. Oh my. Right, let's go back down to slow and I'm very curious why I have no water. Domes without water. Who's got no... Why have you got no water? There's something going on there. I've got... That one's working. Oh dear, that's why. Water production, 21. Max production, 21. Water consumption, 26. Insufficient production. That would be a bit of a problem. You over here are producing one water. Can I upgrade you? Upgrade, 50% production. Right, I'll do that. You over here... Upgrade, amplify, yeah, I need to do that, and I want to do that on there. Okay, I need to upgrade all of my water production things, which I realise that I haven't done, and I probably should have done, and I've also got water towers without any water in them, which is a bit of... We've got more moisture evaporators over here. Let's get all of these moisture evaporators up and running. I've also got a bit of an issue with the fact that the moisture evaporators are running low on water. So you right here. Let's not worry about you for a minute. I've got another water extraction doohickey over here. And I've got... How much water is in here? It's 2,000 left. It's not a great deal. That one's already opened up for max production. You over here. You have not opened up for max production. And I've got another one somewhere. There he is. There. Right. So that's all of those opened up for max production. I could also do with dropping down a few more. Maybe I could put them down over here. Uh, so I want to go moisture. Yeah, I've got nine moisture evaporators here. Do I need a cable? Yes, I do. I'm supposed to have a cable as well. So if I drop that one there. Uh, moisture evaporator. And then I'll drop another one. That's overlapping. I don't want to do that. There. And we'll come over this way, and I'll drop another one in there like that. And we'll drop one up there like that. Now, it should be fairly quick and easy to make these, because Meteor I've... incoming. Uh-oh. I've got um, prefabs, and the prefabs mean that it, it's fairly simple, and there shouldn't be any problems. Right, you're done. Is that... I think that's all the prefabs. Oh, i still got three prefabs. Uh... Go back down through here. I've got more power and... There we go. There's uh, spots over here that I can put some down, I think. I'll drop one in there. I'll drop one in there. Right, that's all looking good. I've got water towers over there that seem to have got some issues. Have I got anything down here? Can I drop another one down there? Uh, let's, let's not worry about them for a minute. Right, so there's a whole load of them that are being made. Fractured dome. Now that is a problem. This dome is fractured and is losing oxygen. Uh, where is it? Oh, hang on. No, it's an incoming meteor. Oh. Ah, I see. Right. This dome is saying it's got no water. And I've got... I should have a loop all the way around for water. You here have got no pipe coming onto you. So I can take you and I can run that pipe there. We have onto a there. water shortage. Like that. And I will also take a pipe there. And I'll run it into there in the dome. I already had water running in, but just in case, we'll, we'll sort of put it all the way around. Right, so domes without water. The water situation seems to have leveled out a little bit. Right there, water surplus 0 0.6, oxygen production 22, demand. Water production 32, demand is 31.4. So we're pretty close on that, but at the moment it's okay. This one right here, look, we have a crack in the dome right there. It is leaking oxygen. We must have had a meteor impact on this dome right here. That one, I'm going to change the priority. Um, cost of repairs, five of those. Is you Have you brought them in? 
I don't know if he... No, he hasn't brought them in. Right. We need five polymers on there. I, th I think they're going to be all right. I, d I don't think it's going to be the end of the world for them working on there. So they'll they'll keep going. The water is on its way to being dealt with. And then we've got this huge, great big mohole mine being constructed over here. Which is going to take care of our iron shortage. Metal shortage. That's, that's all good. This one is done. It's just out. That they can come through there. I've got... How have I got a whole load of this stuff over here? Is that from the dredgers? I think that's left over from the dredgers. I really do. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to go all the way over to the RC Rover over here. And I want to repair that one. So if I go to you... Oh no, the RC Explorer. Really? The RC Explorer got repaired and then all of the drones that they didn't repair. Uh, assigned a target, hub or rover. If I go... Oh no, 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 no. I want to do that. It should repair it. There. Right, they're repairing that one. They, I think he must have just been struck by a meteorite or something. Let's send him over there so that he can do some repair work over there. Uh, low resources. Building's not working. Yeah, the building's not working situation is a bit of a problem for us. We'll worry about that as we uh, progress through. So I want that one to boost. It's metals. I need metals again. I've got, I've got all these issues with metals. Building's not working. They've got a lot of buildings not working. And most of them are waiting. They're waiting on metals. Uh, what's wrong with you? you? You want some electronics. Again, that's not good. If we want a load of metals... What are we going to do about that? Right, I've got food. Well, food is kind of being sorted out. It's, it's not great at the moment, but the food situation is sort of being dealt with. I've got over here, we've got a massive great big dome now. I've got 29 colonists in here, four unemployed people. How have I got four unemployed? It's because I, I don't have metals. All of this stuff is waiting on metal. I need, I desperately need metal, and I want 80 metal over in this one in order to be able to really start extracting everything else. So if I prioritize that one above all else, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to go back to Earth and I'm going to get a cargo rocket and I'm going to buy in some metals. How many can I get? Um, 80 metals is there. That would be all the metals that I need, except that I want machine parts as well as metal. So if I go for 40... And then I go for machine parts. I'm really eating into my money. There's 50. Um, 90. Okay, I got 100 machine parts and 40 metals. How many do I need? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Close. Let's just see. What do I need in here? I need 300 machine parts. Right, so 100 machine parts and 40 metals is probably going to be all right. Um, yeah, we want to go on to there, and I go for 40 metals like that. Uh, nope, 40, and then I go for machine parts. And we're loaded all the way up with the machine parts for the rest of it. There. Launch you. And I'm going to get another one. I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to go for a cargo rocket, and I'm going to go 40 metals. This is the other 40 metals. I suppose I could just take an 80 on the same one, but still, it, it felt better doing it like this. And I go for machine parts like that. That is all of my funding. Every single bit. Is all gone. Right. Off you go. So we've got a load of machine parts and metal coming in for that one. Uh, we do have some other issues going on. But at, at present, we seem to be dealing with a lot of the issues that we've got. We do seem to slowly be getting through our main issues that we've got here on Mars. Um, we're slowly expanding out on all of these. They're getting there. They're getting there very slowly. It's, it's metals again. It's, it, it is all about the metal at the moment. Um, you right there, the RC Explorer, is busy analysing that one. I've got that one there, the RC Transport. Now, this is the one that I want to um, pay a bit more attention to. I'm looking... Oh, 122 metals here above ground. There's a lot right there. I'm going to start at that point there, I think. And then I'll be able to come back and I'll be able to do the same again. If I go... Actually, I've got another dredger coming in there, I think. I'm going to go right there. Analyzed. Load resource. All. And I'll bring you down. It's, as long as it goes to any part of the network. 
As long as it goes to any part of my network that I've got, it doesn't matter where. Just as long as it gets to some part of the network and I unload it right there. Perfect. So that one will come up through and that will deal with some of these. I've got an incoming dredger, I think, right on there. So you, the RC rover that's there, is going to go over to that point. Those drones are going to follow along. Everybody's going to be happy. That one is ready to go as well. Like that. You have done some analyzing. I got another one for you to analyze right there. Right. That's looking good. Small dome. What is wrong with you? Have you still got you've still got air hissing out? We have a food shortage. Oh no, that the air hissing out has, has been dealt with. Starving colonists over here. We're sort with of, well, I we're doing all right with the food. Food's not brilliant at the moment, but I think we're doing all right for food. I think in order to sort of help this out a bit though, what we'll do is if I do I build a food depot outside each of the domes i i'm reckoning that that is actually going to assist us a little bit it means that we've got some additional food storage next to each of the domes which should i'm hoping help the stop i've got food storage up there the only one i don't, I don't have any food storage down here and i got food production going on down here anyway right that might help it might it's not necessarily going to but it might uh, you can be destroyed and I won't need to ever build another one of those again and then we can remove the other bit as well there we go right and then destroy it completely now let's go back oh we've got two of these ready to come in let me just go back up and have a look over here because we had what looked like a marking for an incoming dredger whether it's going to be a super dredger it might not be it might not be anything coming in at all so I've got two rockets are ready to come in and land, which means that we should be able to drop them down next to the mo hole here and use them for the uh, rotate that round there. And hopefully those resources will be used right here on this project. We've got 80 metals coming in off of here. Research and complete. This one's um, localized terraforming. Okay, so now I've got another breakthrough thing. So let me just start going back into behavioral shaping, a new spire building. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that. Right, I've got all of this material here. I'm hoping that they bring it straight down to the mohole here. Um, so 40 metals plus 200 machine parts. The concrete is being brought in from the base here. And then all of the rest. This one should then be able to get up and running. I'm not sure how much that we need in the way. Oh, Ge Geoscape Dome. Slice Crop of earth. reported. Oh, great. No edible food has been harvested. That's not very good. Slice of Earth on Mars. This dome increases comfort all residences within. It also increases sanity of its inhabitants every soul. It's very expensive. How big is this dome? Now, that is actually quite a big dome. I think that's the same size as the Mega Dome, isn't it? Let's take a look. There's domes. Domes right there. Mega Dome. Uh, if we put that one just at the top there and it comes back round and then I go into the one over here and I go to the Geoscape Dome. The Geoscape Dome is actually even bigger than the Mega Dome. So, I mean, Geoscape Dome does seem to be the way forward. Everybody thinks that is wonderful. Over uh, you've... Oh, right. There's only a small one. It should be all right there. Uh, let me go into you and I can go for a giant leaf crop. Giant rice. Algae, I'll go for a giant leaf crop, and then in here I'll go for I don't really know. Does it matter? We have a food shortage. Those don't seem to do a great deal of make a great deal of difference, to be honest. You over there. Are we running low on fuel? Do I need yes, fuel is dropping. We we are dropping now with fuel. I need to get this thing up and running. We've got our 80 metals, I got 174 Machine parts on there. Machine parts is empty. Machine parts is empty. Those can go back. Uh, refueling slowly. This one's got quite a few exports on board. So that one's doing alright. And I've got metals that are coming into the whole situation over that side with my RC Explorer. Uh, no edible food has been harvested. We did yet. Yeah, we've established that one. And then here i got cables everywhere that are being damaged. I got, I got, <laughs> we got a lot of stuff going wrong. All of our, basically all our infrastructure on the planet 
is starting to slowly fall apart. This is not necessarily a good thing. We don't really want everything to start falling apart on the planet. We could do with keeping everything here running. Right, you are out of resources, so we get rid of you, and then we'll demolish you completely, and then I don't need to worry about that one anymore. I've got all the crops that I need um, for everything. All I want now really is machine parts. Meteor incoming right there onto... Well, it's actually not done like major damage, is it? Oh, it's come right in on top of that one. Great. At least it's not put, it's not damaged anything like seriously. Water is going to be a problem again very soon. I've got a thousand left over on that one. And then another underground water over here, which is this one. I've got 1600 left. I desperately need to get some more water, which means that I need these drone hubs over here to Meteor be built. Shower incoming. Another disaster. Yeah, I need that drone hub right there to be built, which is within range now. And then when that one has been built, I will then hopefully be able to get this one. And we can see about getting some water extraction over here. I'm actually thinking that I should do... Yeah, I might need to start seriously considering what I'm going to do over here. I've got that one there. Um, if I drop one of those there and I drop one of those there like that I can get some storages universal depots they got to be dropped out as well in order for this to work like that there we go oh that's coming in from that drone there yeah I see um, and then I can go from there onto the life support and I can go to the water extractor I can drop one on there, and I can drop another one on there as well. I've got 100,000 litres of water on those two right there. I can actually do that a little bit different to this, I think. If I go on to that one, I get rid of it. I can do two of them. I can do um, two side by side. I can put one there, and then I can build another one there like that so the two of them are side by side i'll do the same on this one there get rid of you and that's going to double the water production that i'm getting from this particular site which i think it'd be a better thing to do and i'll get that one and he can drop down there and then i can take pipes like that which can run which way can it run they they're gonna have to run like that i think and then we we'll go there like that. There. Yeah. Right, they're connected to pipes. They're just joined together. At, actually, I can join them straight over to there. If I go from this one, and I'll go up through there like that. I'm going to need to take it straight onto there like that, and then I've got the hub going through. Do I need power on these? Don't think I do. I don't think power is the problem. The drone hubs are the problem. I definitely need the drone hubs and I need to get some metals coming in for them. Look at all of these that have gone wrong. This is awful. I got so many I got so many shortages here absolutely everywhere that we are going to have some major major problems very soon. 190 on resources there. 37 of 40 fuel. You over here, you, right, so we're almost done with reloading. I just need one more fuel in there, and then that one's ready to go, and it can go back to Earth. But anyway, I've run out of time for today, so we'll have to carry this on next time. Will we be able to sort of basically rescue everything from the brink of disaster? We are on the very edge of either success or absolute disaster. Power is running out. We're really starting to run out of power. Power production is 723. Demand is now higher than production. I'm running low on water. I need to be able to get these built out down here before I run out of water. Um, a lot of it relies on me getting this one. If I can get the mohole built, that one right there, uh, you can only build this building once. All right, what does it actually build? Um, it extracts metals and rare metals. We have a food shortage. I can't, remember what it, I can't remember what else it extracts, but we can do metals and rare metals and concretes, I think. And then polymers. We've got the polymers over here. They're being produced. Uh, I just need to have more polymers being made. That's, that's what I need over here. Is And then this one up here, we've got two unemployed people, 108 people. But we've got uh, food is fluctuating wildly. 
And in here, I've got... Well, I've now got some unemployed people. That is kind of a good thing, I guess. But, yeah. Um, so, we're on the brink of disaster. Are we going to make it? Find out next time here on Surviving Mars. So, if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.